important tool with not investment that you can start creating posts that are attractive to your customer. It's all about the user journey, how we can make this experience more attractive, more engaging in the web using the online tools but also this tool will help you with the traditional communication when we are talking about brochure catalogs and also presentations we are speaking about thumbnails for youtube we are speaking about um postings for social media for any kind of social media that you can imagine and again, traditional and no traditional communications. There are many tools that we can use for free, zero dollar investment. And today, again, we will revisit Canva. So I will share my screen with you to show you some of the advantage of this tool. I also will like to join in another tool in case that you will like to explore more options to make your posts different, unique, and adapt some communication skills that attract your users to the products, to the service, to the ideas, to the organizations that you want them to, or that you want to make them know, or the skills that you want to offer to the community. So let's go to do this. Let's go to Canva. The first option, the first step that we will need to do is to create an account. Unfortunately, for this kind of, um, for this option for Canva. I won't create the account from zero today because I already have an account that I pay. So my advice for all of you is create an account for free. It's not going to request you any money. Okay. So you create your account and you can join it to create your communication. Okay. So I will be in the, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you now. I'm not sharing. I'm going to share my screen with my screen with you. But first, before you start, if you don't have it, create your account in Canva. Then I will join to other tools that doesn't need that, but let's do it here so we can learn a little bit about this. Okay, so I'm going to share an entire screen now. Share and you will start to see my computer at this moment. Now you are able to see what I'm looking at. I'm going to just open Canva, canva.com. I will uh, type C A N V A dot C O M, canva.com. So when I start to create a post, a design for traditional or non traditional advertising, my first step is turn number one next to the picture or next to the initials. You will click on create a design in the purple button that I am showing to you right now. You hit create a design. For this moment, you can choose every single design that you want. If you want to do catalog, for example, I'm going to put the word catalog. You can have many um, catalog design. I don't know why it's not coming. <laughs> but you see a uh, Facebook, let me see catalog. Okay, why is not pulling up? Because I wonder you see how you can make all of this. Catalog. Maybe it's in another. Let's let's go with the oh, because it's gonna see it's gonna show me the my memory. But if I click on home, let me do it at home. I'm here. Okay, so I am in home, and now uh, in the in the little house, now I can do catalog, okay, in this search bar. So if I put catalog, now I have this, okay? So you can have the option of catalog. But let's do today post. So if I do post, I will have a lot of options for post. Um, post infographic, you can do infographic. Presentation, if I write presentation, I am able to um, 
file presentation templates. But what about if I want to do flyer? Okay, a traditional flyer, I can do it from here. Flyer, okay? But now, again, I'm going to do Instagram posts. Instagram posts and Facebook posts are kind of the same size, so it's not a big deal. You will see a lot of options here, okay? So you can choose from there. In my case, uh, you are looking different design. I can choose one of those, right? I keep going, keep going, keep going until I find something that really attracts my attention. I also can create a design from zero, of course, okay? It's something good that you don't forget. But in my case, I will choose a design. So I'm going to do this. This is the one I think we can do. So I'm going to click on customize this template. And I hit on that. Now I have my design ready to use. So I will put, instead of new in shop, I just did, do, do, did double click, take click, tap in my mouse. And I'm going to change my words. But I will try to do, remember the copy. The copy is the message that we are communicating in this message. The copy have to be attractive, have to be focusing our customers, what they need, what they want, what they are looking for, what are their expectation, expectations. And we will learn that doing this executing this every single day, consistency doing this, that's the way we learn what the customer wants. So new designs. I'm going to put new designs for your home. Why for your home? Because I want to uh, remember uh, focus in my customer. I want to call to the action. I want that my customer get imagined my creations in their houses, in their spaces, in their desk, okay? So I'm gonna do it this way. Here is when I add a picture. I add a picture of the design that I want. I can recycle one of my designs or I can just take a picture with my phone at this moment and I can upload in my Canva, okay? My advice for the ones that have products at home take a picture with the light, with the sun, try to use white background because depending the product, of course, but white backgrounds is a kind of a good start. Um, or also use the phone that you have. You can say maybe my phone is not the best. Don't worry about it. You just need to start with what you have. If you don't have a photographer close to you, don't worry. It's to start. But if you have help on this matter, this is a great way to, um, you know, find help if you have, you know, um, help in photography. But my advice, don't block with anything. Just do what you have. Just use what you have. Just use what you have. So here I'm going to double click. I can, yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to add my elements. I am saving some elements here. I have some uploads. But if I don't have all of these uploads, I can, uh, you know, upload files in the purple button and I can use that, okay? So I can use that or just um, add a design, a picture that I have here, okay? So let me go to, <coughs> I am trying to find a new, a kind of new pictures. Mm. Let me, let me see. I'm thinking something for you here. That's why I am kind of entertaining. Okay, here, I'm going to do this. Let me see. Those designs. I want to use a different kind of design. So that's why I'm a little going around. So listen, let's do this. Um, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. So... Here, I'm going to add this design. 
maybe this is something that I don't want now, but it's an example. But I can upload different design, okay, people? Okay, I'm gonna do this one. If I don't wanna use those designs, I just have to upload files and I can find different uh, pictures from another places, okay? So this is important that you know that you can upload in the application and also find pictures on your phone and your computer that you can put in your Canva design, okay? But I did it this way today. I already have this one, so load. Those are some thumbnails that I have. So that's it. So new designs for your home. Here it says new collection. And here it says, uh, let me put this bigger so you can see it. Here you go. So now you can see, I can modify that and I'm gonna double click and I can put my business name, which is Aleja Center on Instagram, okay? So that's why I'm doing like this. I put my Instagram and I'm gonna put it in the top, in the front because you see, this design is more like, like uh, um, social media, right? So this design is social media structure. So that's why I'm doing like this. So I'm gonna put my Instagram here on my, you know, social media. Uh, communication so that's what i did and here instead of this i will put my website i'm gonna put my website and here is your creativity you will choose what kind of information you want if you want address if you want online page if you don't have any of that put your instagram or facebook fan, fan page okay so in my case it's gonna be aleja center put your facebook contact all your information remember that we create the fan page put that information there and it's how the customer can find you okay put your phone number for example web page whatsapp all of this kind of data is useful because what we want is that our customer find us that's what we want so that's the way we can get them okay so i have my design i click on home when i lose it okay i lose it and i come back in home and i think this is pretty kind of what I wanted to show you. Now a little bit of creativity, minimizing things here, fixing things there. And that's the way you can do your designs. I had to come back because the computer was asking me. Okay, so now I have my design, I'm done. How I save it? How I make this happen? How I can use it? Okay. Let me fix this little thing here and I'm gonna tell you what to do. You see, I'm moving with the arrows on the desktop. I'm moving this little ball because the little ball was kind of lost. Actually, you know what? This kind of blue is no my blue for my business. So I'm gonna use this, you see? I just change this, but you can choose any. The, the system give you option, okay? Now you, I have something, I like ball. I don't know if this is a good decision, you will tell me, but I'm gonna do this. And you see this heart is kind of move. So I gonna click on the heart and I move it with my arrows and now it's situated. This picture I'm noticing is not like frame. So I'm gonna frame it a little, make it like look real, like it's in a phone, like it's a, in a social media. I'm gonna click on that and move it with my arrows. You can move it, if you are in the phone, you can do it with the phone. Look, I'm doing manually here, it's the same. And this one, I want it in bold. I'm gonna put, instead of new collection, I'm gonna put handmade with love with love and natural elements, okay? That's the way I want to communicate, okay? So I'm gonna do it like this. Because remember that when we are promoting handmade, we are trying to be different, you know? We are trying to be unique, all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's not what I want. Yeah, that's what I want, more or less, okay? So I have something 
Maybe I can add my logo, people. So let's do this. How you can add your logo? Easy. In uploads here in the corner, you see the menu upload files, and you will be able to upload any kind of logo, any kind of uh, information that you want. But because I have it here, I don't need to go too much. Uh, I don't need to go too much uh, hard. But I have it here. I'm just going to look in my in my uploads because I have it. Wait a minute. Let me see. I must have it here so I can get my logo real quick. I'm looking for my logo. You see I'm taking some seconds. Maybe there is a way. There is a way, actually to make this um, a little bit more fast. I have another logo, it's not what I, the logo I want. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there, people. Once you have your logo, you are able to, you know, um, put this in your art and then you are good to go. If you don't have logo, and there is a way to create it actually for free in Wix. I think you can do it too in there. If not, let me see here. I'm looking for, here we go. You see, and there is another trick I want to show you. Let's see if the computer lets us. So I'm going to put my logo in some way here, somewhere here. But look, I'm going to click on this and I will do something that I can do very easy on the phone. It's called, I do this in the phone very easy, but it's uh, effects. You click on effects and then I click VG remover. I do this all the time in the phone more, it's more often that I do. So I take out the, the you see what I did? I took out the background of the logo. It's not a white, uh, patch and you can do the same with the products like if i click on effect i can do many effects but you know what i can do i can be g remover and i can just make a contour of the product look what i did so now the background is gone is gone actually i find this interesting but i don't know what you what you want to tell me i find this kind of is is something interesting i did before i usually do more with the logo than anything so something good to tell you okay let's go to design elements you can add a lot of elements here so here i click on position I can actually put on center or move it. This is not my case, but this is just an example. I'm gonna click on edit photo now and in effects, effects, BG remover. And now I'm able to delete the background and just leave these designs by himself with no background, with nothing. So I don't know if this is something you find interesting or not, depending your needs. And that's it. Okay, so if I click on share, on share, and now I click on download, I will be able to upload this information in my social media, in my fan page, in my Instagram, anything you can imagine you will be able to upload. How I upload? So easy. I go to my, or your website, and I'm gonna go to my Instagram now. My Instagram will send to everything, I think. Let me make sure. I'm gonna hit on that. And now I will be able in the sign here, it's gonna be create and select from computer because I'm in the computer. If you are in your phone, it's something you can do. I usually work more in my phone, new designs, but it's being cut for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see how it works. Let me see next. 
I click on Instagram design, but I don't know why it's being caught. Let me hit on next. Yeah, but it's gonna be caught. So, new designs in Etsy, because I know my, my website. I'm gonna do it like this, okay? Etsy.com, and then I put shop, and then a slash alias. And then uh, I know a lot of experts are saying no hashtags are necessary because you can uh, put the topics that you want to share. You can do reels which are more effective, or you can make this dynamic so we can move, okay? But my advice, keep doing your effort with the hashtag because it's something that is there and we can take some advantage of that. So I will use in the hashtag, the expert says eight to six. Um, I usually do the most amount I can, it's up to 30. So I use it. I, or of course, I have to tell you the truth. I explore reels, I explore uh, the hashtag, I explore the topics on reel. We have to be consistent. It's a job for every single day. And as I always say in the class, you need to be consistent with that. But it's a way that we can start and keep going from there, step by step. So handmade gift, I'm gonna put this. But think about what kind of things your customer will be looking. If you are looking for gifts, handmade is unique, special, so a special gift. What kind of information or what kind of uh, data your customer will be looking, okay? Remember, again, most important than anything is the topics instead of hashtag, but I won't uh, avoid the tool. If the tool is there, I will use it, okay? So handmade products, for example, uh, accents for home, living for home, etc. You name it, okay? This is an example, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I always use my own hashtag, which is something good to do. Don't forget that, because this connects you with your people, okay? No, no, don't stop to do this, especially your own hashtag, very important. In every, I did handmade, I made a mistake. So, especially in TikTok also, TikTok is promoting a lot this part. So, take advantage, take advantage. Add location, take advantage of the location. I'm gonna put Alfareta. I have my own tag for the location, but, okay, so I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna hit on share. And let's see how it looks once your post has been shared. So now, uh, saying is shared a lot of times. So let's see here on the, um, actually on my phone, how it looks. I have my jewelry spots here, but I'm gonna look the handmade stuff. Uh, for some reason, when it's on the phone, I will, uh, I never do this in the computer. Usually I do on the phone. So now, you know what happened? I'm gonna do this because something happened with the title and I want that you know. You see, it's not like this here, you know? But I'm gonna fix it because I don't want to have this trouble. And I don't want that you have this trouble more important than anything, right? So I'm gonna do this here and I'm gonna make it down. Maybe I choose the wrong, maybe I choose the wrong size because I put Instagram post, maybe something I didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna put it smaller, just not to have the problem I had. When I was doing this, I caught it by mistake. So I'm gonna fix it with you here. And then 
You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to move a little bit the elements to make this more, um, you know, easy to use. So let's click, let's do it again. I click on download, download again. And now I'm gonna upload again my post to make sure it's correct. Okay, so I'm gonna go my uh, height. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on the X. I'm gonna delete this post. This is not the best thing to do, but because I am in the computer, I don't know, something happened, okay? Something happened. So let's do it again. Create, select from computer. Maybe it's when sometimes you're distracted to teach something, you forget some stuff. Okay, so let's hit on this. Now is nothing gonna happen. You see the design is nice. So this uh, Etsy, so I'm gonna click on etsy.com slash shop slash alias. Okay, so now, um, etsy.com slash shop slash alias. And now, you know, let me make sure. Okay, I'm gonna put aliascraft.com here. And I'm gonna put my, um, post description very important very important so i'm gonna put the description because i want to model you like it's the best thing to do handmade gift for all the occasions for all the occasions and now i'm gonna put my hashtag i cor correct this word because i got it wrong and i'm gonna put handmade like i did before handmade gift and I'm gonna put personalized because the customers are looking for this kind of product. Personalized gift. And also let's do handmade for home. Okay, this kind of, imagine the kind of words that your customers will look, okay? etc etc this is an example for you uh, but i want that you see like the whole process etc one two three four five six seven i put seven recommendation as i told you six to eight but remember um and that you know more, there are more options now more more effective okay it's important that, that like i i was explaining you I have a Leia Center where, uh, location here, so I'm gonna do that. I already have it, you see? It's not popping up. I'm gonna put Alfareta to see if it works. I'm gonna click on chair, and now, boom. Now it's ready to go. Your post has been shared. Now I'm gonna go to my place here, to my location in Instagram, okay? So you can see what I did. I'm gonna do it again, come back. And we are here again, and now the design is working. Now you can see it's there, okay? Maybe some things to make it better, like every time, but it's a result that you can implement in your own projects and also in the assignment that we have. You can do it this way, post your picture, of the post you create and with this the assignment is covered okay so have a good rest of the day and i hope you can see the post here and i hope this way to create your post is useful and you can implement this in your projects business organizations etc good luck